Hello. This week we have a passage from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 18, verse 1 to 8, often called the parable of the widow and the unjust judge. And as everybody can guess, we have two main characters, the unjust judge, who is described here that here the judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In today's term, we we'll, could also call him as a member of the establishment, someone who has power and not afraid to use it, not afraid to lose it, part of the elite. And we have the widow. The widow is the representative of the voiceless, the re someone who is powerless, someone who has difficulty to be heard, to be recognized in our society. And this widow is asking for justice. And for us, we kind of take it for granted that, well, if you have a good cause, you go in front of court and you can win. But here it seems that the system is rigged against her. And it is something we often hear these days, I would say. It, the system is rigged. Um, and somehow, yes, it's true. Not necessarily as some would pretend, but yes, the system works against some people. We just have to look at the numbers for unemployment and immigrant or member of visible minorities. Unemployment is higher than other segments of the society. We just have to look at uh, remuneration of women versus men for most often the same job or very similar job. And see, there's still today, 2016, there's still a huge difference. Just have to look in our prison system and the amount, uh, not the amount, but the number of people from the First Nation and compare the percentage of the population in general in Canada versus the population in prison. And see, there's a huge unbalance between this. For some, yes, the system is rigged. And as Christian, as disciple of Jesus, we cannot stay put and accept this. We cannot say, well, they just have to work hard, harder. You just have to be smarter, just have to go to school longer and blah, blah, blah. It's too easy when you're someone who is among the establishment, when you are part of the privilege to believe that everybody has the same chance, which is not true. And this is why we're called to act and to do something. Once again, sitting still and, and, and ignoring those who are suffering is too easy. And it's not part of what Jesus come to preach. We have to act. In the case of widow, yes, she act. And maybe her best asset, her greatest gift, was her stubbornness. It seems strange, but in this case, she did not give up. She had this, this great power inside of her that she will go and go and go and go until her voice will be heard, until her case will be heard by the establishment. But for others, some of us, well, all of us have gifts, all of us have means to do something to influence our, our society. We can write letters, we can take part of manifestation, we can use our financial resources to, to help those who are struggling, to, add, to pay for people who will advocate for their cause. Like I said, there's so much resources at our disposal and to do something about it, not just because we like to complain and we like to nag and, and we're never happy about anything. It's our call to put a little effort 
maybe it's just little, maybe huge, but to put an effort in this building of what Jesus came to preach. The, some people call it the kingdom of God, the, the, the realm of God. It, we can call it different names, but it's still this world where all will be valued, all will be respected, all will see justice. Not just people like like me, like men, uh, white, middle-aged, heterosexual. No, all, regardless of origin, regardless of, of power, regardless of status. There's something that, that needs to be done so all have access to this justice, this dignity that God wants for everyone. Well, that's it for today. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Stéphane Vermet, I'm the Lectionary Man. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.